Hello, my name is Catherine Denizet. This is my son, Limoilou. And today we're gonna show you how to make a holiday classic called Cretons. So my mom also calls it Petite Viande, which translates directly to uh, little meat. So it's basically what Cretons are. It's a meat spread. So you, you can eat them with crackers, you can spread them on toast, all sorts of ways to eat them. Um, According to my mom, my grandma's used the excess meat from tourtières or meat pies to make the crétons. So let's get into it. It's very, very simple. So what you'll need is a very big pot to keep in the humidity. You need a, a big onion, finely chopped, so you can tell it's very, very finely chopped, kind of like rice looking. You have a couple of cloves of garlic, so about three to four, it depends how how much you like garlic, I like it a lot. And um, a couple of bay leaves also, so two to three bay leaves. Three pounds of pork, uh, lean pork. We bought it locally here in Alberta. And finally, um, some bouillon. I use better than bouillon, but you can also just uh, use bouillon. So let's do it. All right, so first step is to create what my mom calls le mouche. So what you need to create le mouche is the onion, the garlic, make sure your hands are clean here, and the meat. So just those three ingredients to start. And fun part is to mush it up with your hands. <laughs> there are all sorts of creton recipes. Every family has their own. My family is a little bit purist, so we're very uh, limited on the spices and what we put inside of it. Some people add uh, cinnamon, Others add uh, some breadcrumbs, some um, all sorts of things. Uh, but yeah, my mom and my grandmas are a little bit old fashioned about their crétons, so they really just put uh, a little bit of salt and pepper at the very end of the recipe. All right, this is good mush. <laughs> So the next thing you want to do is cover the mush with water. It's going to look a little bit ugly, a little bit gross, but you got to do it. So cover it up. You want it to cover the mush by not a lot, actually, just about half a centimeter, like this, like so. And that's going to get the meat nice and humid at the end. So it's going to look ugly, but trust me. Now we want to head over to the oven, allons-y, and bring this nice little mixture to a high heat. But it's not going to stay on a high heat for very long. Uh, so stay there to mix up the meat so it doesn't crust up at the bottom. And then we'll put it on low and put in the rest of the ingredients. So let's do it. Ça a l'air pas très bon. <laughs> All right, folks, so I have a confession to make. I just spoke to my mom on the phone because I wasn't sure if I had enough water, and I didn't. And she said, toi pas, which means don't shy away from the water. So I'm adding more water because it really needs to boil up a little bit. I'm not shying away. Mix it all up, mix it all up. So it's just gonna look like big meaty goop or mush. There we go. Oh yeah, that's more like it. That looks more like my mom's meat. Si on t'offrait une marmotte, la garderais-tu? If I offered you a groundhog, would you keep it? These are the types of questions we ask ourselves in this household. <laughs> so 
now I can see it's really heating up in there. It's kind of making bubbles. So we can add salt and pepper, which I already did. You can add a little squirt of better than bouillon. Put it in there. There you go. Just enough. And a couple of bay leaves. Put it all in there. Mix it all up. Don't forget to take the bay leaves out at the very, very end. And now that it's heated, you can put the heat on simmer and you're gonna let it simmer for at least two and a half hours, almost three hours. So you have lots of time to do other things. You can make a pie, you can watch a movie, whatever you want. Let's go movie. So don't cover it, let it go. Kiss it goodbye for a few hours and we'll be back. Mmm, looks delicious. <laughs> looks pretty ugly for now, but just wait. All right, so it's been a couple of hours. I have been stirring the crétons and adding a little bit of salt and pepper to taste throughout. Uh, there still is some liquid in here and that's good. It's gonna keep them humid. Um, but to transfer them in airtight containers, I will use a spoon with holes in them just to get rid of some of that liquid. Uh, Crétons are traditionally eaten cold, they can be eaten warm too, but I will be eating them tomorrow morning on my toast with mustard. So we'll see you there. Get rid of those basil leaves. <laughs> Good morning, bon matin. I'm still in my pajamas, ready to eat my crotons. So this uh, little container is fresh out of the fridge. I spent uh, the night in the fridge last night. I have a couple of containers also in the freezer for other times, so it's gonna last me a while. I have my toast ready, I have my favorite mustards out. So that's really all you need. So you take your toast, take a little bit of creton, pack it on there like so, put a little bit of mustard, like this, and you eat it, it's that simple. Bon appétit. Mm. It's very good.